Three minutes after six o'clock and new this morning today, UAW union leaders will get more details of the new tentative contract agreement with General Motors. But this new agreement may not include anything for reopening the idle Lordstown plant. First News talked with UAW local 1112 President Tim O'Hara overnight, and he told us, quote, nothing official yet, but not hearing anything positive for Lordstown, end quote. First News talked with some union reps yesterday before they left for Detroit, and at the time, everyone was hopeful but realistic of what could happen today. It's kind of a sickening feeling right now in my stomach, just not knowing what we're going to be hearing when we go to Detroit. Well, the D Detroit News is reporting this morning the deal confirms the closure of the Lordstown plant and the other non-allocated plants. Apparently, GM still plans to build a battery cell manufacturing plant, and reports say the union-represented facility would be part of its promised investment. The deal also talks about the potential sale of Lordstown to the newly formed Lordstown Motors Corporation, which is a division of Cincinnati-based Workhorse. It wants the Lordstown plant to be its headquarters to build an electric truck. The strike is now entering its 31st day. It's cost the automaker more than $1.5 billion in lost profits. Tens of thousands of affected workers have lost hundreds of millions in wages. It will take about two weeks to get the new deal passed, and you can count on First News to cover every new development.